What's up, modern steaders? Today, we're gonna train our pigs to electric fence. We're gonna need a few tools for the job and a few accessories. Let's go get them. I keep all my fencing stuff in a cardboard box. We're gonna need some insulators. This style is for metal T-posts, which we're not gonna be using today. So we're gonna need this style. When we get outside, I'll show them to you a little bit better. I don't think I need those insulators. I think I got a couple of posts in the shed that are already made up. Let's go see if we can find them. It's kind of a mess in there. Just giving you a fair warning. Yes, I see some. We got some T-posts when we make their pasture. We're gonna need, oh, let's grab all of them. And we'll bring back the ones we don't use. I need a little bit of hose, and I believe I have some over here. Yes, we do. We need a couple of pieces of hose. Whatever you have will work. This is what I have lying around. Look what we got. And look at that over there. Any guesses what that's for? Leave it in the comments down below. That'll be in some upcoming videos. All right, we're gonna leave these here for now. This is what I need. So what we're gonna do to train our pigs to an electric fence is we're gonna put a little area, we'll probably, we'll run it right back here in this corner of electric fence and a few reasons to do that as you can see they're rubbing there so we know they come here we'll be able to do it and then also it's the straightest run to our electric fencer we only have one electric fencer for now that's going to be changing shortly so we're going to use that one to train the pigs for now all right so i'm thinking three fence posts inside should work Hello girls! You're probably not going to like this at first, but you'll get used to it. So the pigs like playing with them as you can see, but that'll change shortly. Pigs being pigs, they're not going to leave me alone or those electric fence. They want to eat me, look! So we have some bread, we'll give them some bread. Hopefully that'll keep them content. Might have to get more, we got to work fast while we get this fence hooked up. I hope the angle of the camera is not too bad. I can't have my tripod out here. They'll knock it over. So you're up kind of balancing on, wrapped around the greenhouse arm. So if you don't like the angle, I'm sorry. But this is how I got to work with the pigs. And we got to work fast. They're like halfway done with the bread already. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? We got to work fast. I wish I could get you better angles of how I'm setting up the fence. I will when I build the pasture. But this we need to do just to train them to electric fence for now. I hear them getting closer. All right, they got a few pieces left. Maybe we can do this. Oh man. We got one more thing of bread in the house we gotta get for him. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to get our work done. Right, Pluto? Right? Will this bread hold you over? Yep, that'll work. All right, now that we have a few more minutes, let's get this finished and maybe I can show you what I did. All right, so I'm just cutting this long. I'm gonna wrap it around a couple of times here and send it back out my fence. Didn't we cut this? Oh, I thought we cut it already. Yeah, we cut it. No? Sorry. Let's cut.
cut it. They're almost finished with that bread again. So let's go over this quickly. Pigs don't see like this. They see like this from ground level. So and their noses are always coming up to stuff. They don't look up, they look like this and down. So you don't need to keep your fence high. You only need a little like ankle high and then maybe knee high the most middle of your calf. That's what I have found has worked for me. So we're gonna raise this up a bit. These ones are just screws together insulators. You just loosen them up, raise them up, and then you can tighten them back. Probably want that one a smidge lower, like right there, because the pig's gonna go down and kind of dig. So do that. That one will tighten up. Oh no, here they come! And those are pretty good. We're gonna leave them like that. We're gonna go out and hook it up to the fence, sir. There's Mr. Biggs for you. So this is what I wanted some hose for. I'm gonna slip it over the fence. Slip it over the wire by this metal fence. And these guys are already chewing and eating on this fence. I'm gonna go give them some grain, maybe keep them content so we can finish this project. And then once we turn it on, they're only gonna touch this thing once and then they're gonna be done. Look at them. I think it's food. Maybe we can keep them content with this for a little while. Mrs. Pigs, right through that fence, guys. They're gonna learn their lesson once I turn that on. Trust me. They will learn to respect that fence. Just right through the pipe. Get to the other one. Guess we don't need the hose that long. And we can take this wire and we'll wrap it around this one, making sure we got a good contact. I'm gonna take the rest of my hose and just put that over that. There. The reason we did that is for an insulator. That way we don't have to worry about the metal wire arcing off the metal fencing we have here. Take this one, there. Just gonna run some more fence posts along to our energizer, and that way we can get this hook, this fence energized. We'll keep these ones up high so we can see them. I like these posts guys once you train your pigs to your fence they're gonna obey them and they're not gonna test the limit these just go on the ground so easy you got these nice insulators they're two-piece screw on so you just slide them over your posts hey mr. Biggs you just slide them to where you need them on your post and snug them up and then they stay. So they're really adjustable and really fast. I like them. Just gonna take our roll of wire, join the two pieces back together just by twisting them. Hey, didn't your mother ever teach you to chew with your mouth shut, Mrs. Pigs? These pigs don't have any manners. Oh. <laughs> Look at her at the fence. Hey! They won't think it's a toy in a minute. <laughs> Just going to connect it right here. Let's plug it in and oh. The piggies touched it. 
Well, spots already hit the fence right when I turned it on. I shut the camera off, spots hit the fence. I messed that up twice so far. Both the pigs hit the fence, and both times I didn't have the camera recording. Oh! The second time when Mrs. Pigs hit it, I thought I had a recording. I was talking and everything to you. She might be coming back for a second chance. Let's see. But the reason why you want to train them to electric fence in there is you guys saw how pushy they were. They just go up to the fence, they'll climb right through it. But the big reason is, is when they get their first bite by the electric fence, they don't know whether to go forward or backward. So if you have them in your pen and they hit the fence, they know they got to go back. They can't go through it. So that's why you want to train them to it inside in a closed area. But they are already very leery of this corner. See? I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Faintly. So we are hitting 7,000 volts over here for the pigs, which is awesome. Not that far away from the fence, and you can't see it over there. You can see it here in the sunlight. So we want to make sure we mock that with some flagging tape. I don't want to walk into that at night because I forgot it was there. The pigs have already learned to respect that fence. They're close to it, but they already know. I'm very disappointed in myself that I didn't get that on camera, but Mrs. Pigs came up to it and hit it up top here of like her forehead. Not right on her schnauzer, but on her forehead. It took a second to go through the hair, but she got a zap and backed off. I think Spots got it on the nose. You really want them to get it on the nose because that's wet and they really feel it then. But they both got it, and look, Mrs. Pigs is getting close, but she's already respecting that fence. What's the matter? You already trained to the electric fence? Didn't take you very long, did it? And that's how you train your pig to an electric fence. You might not think they're very smart animals, but they are. You guys saw how they were climbing through that electric fence, biting at it, clawing at it, and just playing with it before it was electrified. And then they each got bit by the fence once. And look at them. They're right next to it, but they're respecting it already. That's why we train them inside in a pen area so they get to learn it and respect it. That way when we get them out in the pasture area, they won't test it. They'll know its boundaries and they won't even go up to it. And if they go up to it, they know how close they can get to it. So we'll leave them in here for a few days to a week until we can get that pasture done. And then we'll get them out in the pasture and we'll start composting all the leftover bedding we have in here. And then once it starts getting a little bit later in the season, we can start our fall crops inside the greenhouse. That's going to be exciting, and I bet you they're going to grow amazing with all the chicken manure and pig manure that was in here. So thank you guys for that. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Pigs. Thank you. See the fence? See the pig? Fence? Pig? I have these two big piles of dirt right behind me and you don't know how hard it is for me not to bull and jam and get it all spread out and done with it what we want done. But I gotta take my time, pace myself, slow down and make videos while we're doing it. That's a good thing. It makes me take my time and enjoy it a little bit better. So those will be some upcoming videos. We need to get the pig pasture done and get the pigs out on pasture. We have not just one pile but two piles we're gonna be moving, and of course, it's gonna be raining this week. Ugh! So much to do, so little time, and the rain doesn't help, but we'll get it done. Don't worry, we always do. That's what I need to tell myself most of the time anyways. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.